Hi! Welcome to Gigi Mix. Today I'm going to show you how to cook salmon fillet in under 10 minutes so you can get crispy, delicious salmon skin because nobody loves rubbery, soggy salmon skin. Plus, watch till the end while I'll show you some milk ideas to serve with your salmon. So let's get started. I'm using wild salmon because wild salmon is in its natural environment eating its natural food, whereas farm salmon um, is given high processed fat and high protein feed to eat to grow bigger and I'd rather not be eating that. But whichever kind of salmon you use, you can follow this recipe and you'll get the same result. In a non-stick pan, add one tablespoon of olive oil and heat on a low to medium heat. Make sure your whole pan is covered with oil because if you have a bit without oil, your salmon may end up sticking to your pan. When your oil is hot, add your salmon skin side down and you should hear a lovely crackling sound. If you do, you know you are on the road to crispiness. Now season your salmon with salt and pepper and leave it to cook for a few minutes. Have a check. Oh, this one's not having it. <laughs> Lift up your salmon a little and look and see if the skin is crispy. If it isn't, leave it to carry on cooking for a few more minutes and check again. When your skin is as crispy as you want it, flip your salmon over and cook for a minute or until the middle goes from a bright pink to a pinky grey. If you want to cook your salmon longer, you can turn off the heat and leave your salmon to carry on cooking from the pan's residual heat. Listen to that Christmas. Now that's what I'm talking about. And look at how soft and flaky it is. But can you see all this white stuff on my salmon? It's protein that comes out of the salmon when it is heated. It's called albumin. I've done some research and I found out that if you soak your salmon in a brine of salty water for 10 minutes before you cook it, it should reduce the amount of albumin coming out of your salmon. But then I'm thinking there's going to be too much moisture in the salmon. Even if I was to pat dry it um, before I cooked it, there's still going to be extra moisture from the brine and that's going to defeat the object of us wanting to get crispy skin salmon because we want salmon that's crisp, it's crispy on the bottom, we don't want no rubbery salmon skin. And then I was thinking, well, there's nothing actually wrong, wrong with actually eating the albumin. And then I, I thought of something else. So let me show you my new idea of reducing the albumin on the salmon. So let's go cook some more salmon. I heated one tablespoon of olive oil in a non-stick pan and heated it on a low to medium heat. Then I added my salmon skin side down like before and seasoned it with salt and pepper and left it to cook for a few minutes. But as my salmon was cooking and the albumin was coming out, I used my spatula to get rid of it. Right. My salmon looks like the bottom half is cooked, so time to check the skin's crispness. Looking good. Now I'm going to leave it to cook for only 10 seconds on the top side then flip it back over, turn the heat off and leave the salmon to continue cooking in the pan's residual heat while I scrape the new albumin that's formed. Now time to see the results. Yes! crispy skin that comes off in one piece yes that's what I'm talking about and flaky fish mmm now let me show you what I serve both my salmon with the first salmon we ate it with my 30 minute lemonese lemon rice chili sweet potatoes some steamed carrots and runner beans and of course the star of the show crispy skin salmon the second salmon was served again with my 30 minute lemon rice spicy chili sweet potatoes, broccoli and carrots, and crispy skin salmon. I know it's practically the same meal, just a change up of broccoli and runner beans, but this is a family favorite and ready in 30 minutes, plus all the taste buds are satisfied with settlingness from their lemony rice, 
the sweetness and heat from the chilies, you get the sweetness and bitterness from the veggies, the crispness and saltiness and umami from the salmon. Mm, it's delicious, you've got to try it. I hope me sharing how I plate up as a whole is helpful and inspiring. And if you want me to continue doing so, let me know in the comments below. And I'll also leave a link to my 30 minute lemoniest lemon rice video below so you can go and have a watch. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload my next video. And also go and follow me on Instagram at gg underscore mix where I share more recipes, family fun and adventures and stuff like that. Okay, thanks for watching, bye. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share. And if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos, please subscribe below. Until next time, bye.